Did somebody say turkey pho? Spoiler alert, it was me. <laughs> Hi friends, thank you for joining me today. My name is Andrea and I've spent a lot of time over the last few years trying out and recreating some of my family's favorite dishes. We love turkey in this household and jump at the chance to roast one whenever possible. But what to do with the leftovers? Because there's only so many turkey sandwiches you can make, right? Um, may I suggest turkey pho? We love turning our leftovers into another warm and hearty meal. Let me show you what we do with our Instant Pot. First, we're going to make the stock. Break up your turkey bones into smaller pieces so that it'll fit into the inner pot of your Instant Pot. and add the onions, celery, ginger, cinnamon sticks, coriander seeds, fish sauce, salt, and water. Close the lid on your Instant Pot and switch the valve to seal. Select the soup option and set your timer to three hours. Set the pressure to high and walk away. Once the timer reaches zero, you can just quick release the pressure, strain the soup, and skim off as much fat as you can. Return the soup to the inner pot, then put the inner pot back in the Instant Pot. Add in the carrots and the daikon, and put the lid back on the Instant Pot. Select the soup option again, and set your timer to 10 minutes at high pressure. All right, now while we're waiting, let's prep the noodles. Let's first soak the noodles in some warm water. This will help the noodles cook faster later on. Then, boil a separate pot of water for cooking the noodles. Once the water is boiling, take a portion of the noodles and put them in the strainer. Soak the strainer in the boiling pot of water so that all the noodles are submerged. Toss the noodles around the strainer for about 10 seconds and then take out the noodles. Shake off any excess water and empty the noodles into the bowl. Once the timer has gone off, give the broth a little taste and add more salt as needed. Now we can assemble our bowls. In our household, we like to add bean sprouts, carrots, and daikon to our bowls, and then add some turkey and garnish with green onion and cilantro. Thank you again for joining me today. If you tried out my recipe, please leave a comment below on how it turned out, I'd love to know. If you liked my video, please click the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, friends. Mwah.